Hi there and welcome to the new Power BI video. And in this Power BI video, what you can find is the information about the information icon button, which you can create within the Power BI very easily and provide the information to your end user. For example, what this report is all about or whom to contact in case someone is uh, looking for more information. So all of that, you can put it under the information icon and I'll show you very easily how you can create it within Power BI. And this sheet, which I'm showing you over here, which has the title of my videos is something which is present in the description that you can access using the link that is present there. And you can search the videos that I have posted, all of these different types of videos which I've posted so far. And you can find jump to those videos using the link that is given here. Okay. Now let's look at the topic that we have in the hand, Power BI information icon button. So for this, what I'll do is go here in the Power BI. I'm using the Power BI app or the cloud Power BI. Here, what I'll do is I'm already into the edit mode right now. And within the edit mode, what I have is the button. This is very similar to your desktop application or the desktop Power BI, where you all of for all of these buttons Either they are present directly in front in the home tab or they are present in their respective tab like design or insert. You may have to just look at that information where it is present. But if you are in the Power BI app service, then they are present here as you can see it. So here, if you will see, this is the information icon and this information icon is uh, getting created over here as soon as I click it over here. So this is the minimum thing what you need to do. But next thing is configuring it or providing what information you want to give. So first thing I'll do is I will just uh, reduce this size so that it is coming perfectly fine. So now if you see this is coming perfectly fine. Now if I select this and enable the action here, we have to provide the tooltip. But before that, what type of button we want? We don't want someone to click here and move to a different report like what is present here as back. So what I'll do is click on bookmark and specify bookmark to none. That means nothing will going to happen when I'll click this report because we are not specifying any bookmark here. And the information we can provide is, for example, please contact op team opportunity team. So this is an opportunity analysis report. Let's say someone wants to contact you, then you are providing the information that please contact op management team i'll give a space at op hyphen mgmt op management at the rate mycompany.com all right once i do this i'll put hover my mouse over here and the information is coming here as please contact op management team at opmanagement at mycompany.com. Now this is something very interesting and useful, which you know you can provide your information to the user. Also, you can be very creative by changing the type. For example, if you want someone to jump to a website, let's say for example, then you can come over here on the web URL, specify the web URL, and when someone will come, you will have this information when someone hovering the mouse over to this icon, but on click. The, the person will be able to jump to the URL that you are specifying, which probably either can be your company link or internally, maybe your department link or a location where information about all this different reports that you are showing is present. For example, access our entire repository here, and then you give the link, which is here in the web URL. So that's very quickly I wanted to show you about uh, the different things which you can do with the help of the information icon. And if you will see uh, before I leave, I'll just show you that before you uh, that uh, if you open up this icon right now, if you see the shape is the information icon, right? And this is something you can change it from here. Let's say you want to change it to help. Then you change it to help. You want to change it to reset which also present it over here in case if you want to create it, even help is present. So all of those shapes are present here as well. So if you want to change it after creation of the button. 
So that's about uh, very quickly. I wanted to show you that what you can do with the help of the uh, information icon about different use cases that can be, for example, showing the information or enabling the user to jump to a website where most of the other information or the related information is present. Now I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.